there guys welcome to a new vlog today as I am filming this it is actually Easter Sunday so this morning Chris and I went to church at a church near us and then I actually drove out to go to my parents church as well because I just love that church and it was really really nice to see people who I haven't seen in a while um, because that is a church that I went to for a very long time before Chris and I got married and now we go to a different church that's closer to us so anyways it was just an amazing morning and um, um, then I was able to go out to eat with my parents and have some fun doing that. And I think I'm going to go to Chris's parents' house later tonight for dinner. So I am in my classroom for just a little bit. Now I've said a million times I really enjoy going in on the weekends. I feel like I get a lot done and it just helps my week run so much more smoothly than uh, those weekends that I don't go in. So I do really enjoy doing that. Uh, I'm just here for a little bit though. On my way back from my parents' house, I pass by my school anyways when I'm going from my parents' house back home. So it's one of those things that it's easy to stop in really quick, get a couple things done, and then head out. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm not planning on staying very long at all because it is Easter Sunday and I want to spend my time with my family. So anyways, I thought I would show you really quickly what I wore for Easter. Now, I don't have the whole dress up uh, situation going on right now because I have been in my classroom for a little bit. So of course, I changed into my nice cat slippers because that's what I like to do on the weekends. But I will show you other than that what is going on here. So let me just stick you in a spot where you'll be able to see right there so this dress is actually or this top is actually a lily plitzer dress and i just have the bottom tucked in to a skirt so you can see if i go like this it's actually a dress so it comes all the way down to here but it's like a tighter dress at the bottom and i wanted something more flowy so i just put a skirt on over it and i actually really like how that turned out this print is called the multi lulu and i love this print i actually own an elsa top in this print as well and i really really enjoy it this also isn't super heavy which I like so it was perfect for today and I got a ton of compliments on this ensemble. My little skirt is from JCPenney and then I was wearing some heels. I don't know where I kicked them off to but I was wearing some heels that were from Payless actually and I was wearing a necklace too but I took that off. So anyways that was my little spring Easter outfit for this year and yeah I did not wear the slippers to church but here they are now really just living their best lives and yeah that's it so anyways i'm gonna try to get some more work done so i can scoot out of here but i will see you guys when i see you <laughs> vlogging fail. Good morning. 
morning sweet friends or afternoon or evening whenever you are watching this right now it is Monday morning it is 7 20 almost and I got to school around 7 I actually went to the gym this morning though before work which felt pretty good about it was super super busy though so that is why I did not vlog at all while I was there um, I did film like a super quick clip of me like getting ready in the little locker room but I was scared somebody was gonna walk in so didn't want really want to be like that girl who was filming in the locker room you know what I mean but anyways um, that was how I started my morning and today I am just feeling like refreshed and it's going to be a great day I had one of my green smoothies for breakfast but I will say I then got to school and ate two Reese's eggs it's all about balance though you know like it's fine so anyways I do have a couple things I still need to do this morning but mostly I'm just having like a relaxing morning. I'm watching Brittany's videos right now, which she is five foot one teacher. I'm sure you guys all know who she is already, but if by chance you don't, go check out her channel. She is such a light and she actually inspired me to get this shirt because she always dresses so cute and she wears like bright yellow all the time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute on her. And so I got this shirt because I was feeling inspired by Brittany. So thanks Brittany, you're probably not watching this, but love the shirt so cute so anyways i'm gonna go do what i need to do and then i will check in with you guys at some point i thought i would quickly show you guys my outfit in this little mirror back here um so this shirt i don't know what the actual brand is but i actually just got it off of poshmark i love poshmark not sponsored but i just love them i seriously buy like all my clothes off of poshmark and i just thought this was super super cute so i literally just searched like yellow tunic i think and this came up and i just thought it was so stinking cute and then i'm wearing my favorite pair of black leggings these are from airy and these are seriously my favorite 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 leggings some of you may remember on my instagram over the summer i posted a question that was like what are the best black leggings ever and a bunch of people responded and i bought like six different pairs of black leggings um, including like Lululemon and some more expensive brands like Zella and stuff like that and these ones are by far my favorite they're like super high-waisted you can see they come up like way up there and they're just so 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 comfortable so airy for the win these are just seriously the best leggings ever it's like I'm not even wearing anything they're so comfy and then my shoes are my new Sam Edelman ones I found these at TJ Maxx and I was so excited because I've seriously been wanting these for forever I believe these are called the Lorraine um, flats or loafers, I think, and I just think they're so sinking cute. They are seriously so comfortable, and I have wider feet. Even though my feet are super small, I wear like a five and a half, six. Um, my feet are like just a little bit wider, and so a lot of times flats are not very comfortable on me, um, but these are super comfy. I wear them on Friday too, and I just have my little liners on too that I also get at TG Maxx, and then I have my Fitbit, which is breaking, and it's really sad. I've literally gone through guys I'm not kidding probably five Fitbits at this point and like this one's breaking on this side right here it's kind of hard to see maybe you can see like that and then it's not like holding a charge very well so kind of annoying one of these days I'm gonna buy an Apple watch but they're just so expensive so <laughs> just doing this for now so yeah that's my outfit for today super casual but also like kind of cute I don't know it's supposed to actually be really warm today I think it's supposed to be like up to almost 80 which in Michigan in the spring that is very very warm so I'm super excited I am living for this weather I didn't have to wear a jacket today it was pretty awesome so right now I'm in my back little study room I don't know I never really go back here in vlogs I don't think but this is what it's looking like I have like that all organized over there and then these are my book club books over here so some really popular ones that the kids have enjoyed a lot that I've had them read in book clubs have been Wish. This is a personal favorite of mine. If you haven't read this book, it is phenomenal. So that has been a favorite. My kids also really enjoyed, um, my kids love these books. This is Max's story. This is one of the Dog's Purpose puppy tail books. And um, this is the only one I have as a book club book, but I do have some of the other ones just like in my classroom library. That one was really, really popular. I'm trying to think what else has been really popular that the kids have really enjoyed. Oh, 
Crenshaw has been a really popular book as well. This is one of my all-time favorites. Catherine Applegate is actually probably my favorite children's author. Um, I love Wish Tree and Home of the Brave and Crenshaw is also very, very good. So yeah, those are my book club books. And then these are just kind of an overflow of books that didn't fit in my library or maybe were a little bit too mature for my library. Like just one of them in there is a little bit little 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 bit too mature for my kids right now but yeah just living my best life this morning I am seriously so awake this morning and energized and I'm just excited to see my kids but it'll be like an hour until I see like the first student in the building because they can't even come in until 8 30 so I have a while to wait but anyways this side is my side I don't know if I've, I feel like I've talked about this before right like this side is my side and then my grade level partner has this side and she's super organized which is really really nice so yes we just share this space and then we have the big table in the middle for kids to come back and work at um, sometimes they'll get pulled by like the specialists in here or not the specialists but yeah, specialist. I don't know if that's the right word. Like the reading specialist and stuff like that. Or um, different like ed assistants or whatever. Um, oh, also my graffiti wall is really coming together over here. I just have to show you guys like my kids. What they come up with is kind of amazing. Um, so let me see if I can find any specific ones that are standing out to me don't really know what this is as a child we crave to be treated like a big kid at the end of adolescence we want the respectful respect of adulthood but both of these transitions guide the sh shouldering of responsibility and the desire to reaching for there than we can earth and become or can reach maybe and become more than we were yesterday so I know who wrote that and that's a little buddy that yeah that's pretty good so pretty cool what my kids have come up with this one too from ghost show show you that you can't run away from who you are but you can run toward but what you can do is run toward who you want to be from the book Ghost by Jason Reynolds. So pretty cool what they come up with. But yeah, so that's this little area. Good job, kids. So every other week we do progress monitoring for Dibbles and these are any of the kids who are um, either like right at grade level or like it's more like a little bit below grade level I guess in any of the areas of Dibbles and so this is what their Dibbles little progress monitoring book looks like and so what they do is we open up to the story for this progress monitoring so for this one I think we're on 14 actually yes yeah, so this is progress monitoring number 14 and so it looks like this it's just like a little passage and it has the word count on the side so this is the teacher book and then the kids read from like an actual not like book but like a little spiral bound type thing that looks like this that's upside down but you get the gist and so they have one minute to read as much as they can and then you mark the errors on here now this is something i was not really exposed to at all when i was in college so if you are an ed student right now i would highly highly recommend if you are in a placement or you're doing um, some volunteering or whatever in a classroom and you see a teacher doing progress monitoring whether it's in dibbles or running records or whatever it might be actually sit alongside that teacher and try to ask questions and learn from them but then I also would recommend asking if you could do one on your own even if it's not one that they're actually going to use for progress monitoring um, I know I've used these passages for like other kids in the room who I don't have to progress monitor like I just will do it just for extra practice for them so I would highly recommend asking if you can administer one of these progress monitor monitoring um, passages just because I think it is 
really really important to get experience doing things like that before you actually have a classroom of your own because I know when I started teaching I didn't really have any idea what I was supposed to be doing and I had to ask a ton of questions which is fine um, but it was just one of those things that I did have a learning curve at the beginning of the year so I would have loved to have had that experience in college but anyways basically they read the passage you mark the errors on yours and then you put a bracket around where they end and then at the top you put the total words that they got like two so let's say they got all the way down to this word and right here well that's at 101 so I'd write 101 here but then on the next line you write errors including skipped words so if they skip an entire line that's like the worst thing because you have to cross out the whole line and count every single word as an error which stinks I hate when that happens and I have one of my students who does it so often and I'm like no it seriously just drives me bonkers because I'm like I hate marking those all those errors so anyways you put the errors right there including the skipped words and then um, on the bottom you put the words correct so that will get you their words per minute but also that will get you their percentage of accuracy when you put that information into the computer and then they do a one minute retell as well and so you are listening to see how many words they can um, retell and what I do is every time they tell me one detail I put like a line so for example I'd be like moving my pencil as they're saying the word so they might say the title of this passage was wonderful water okay and then when I get to that point I would put a slash like up and down so I can tell that that's one detail because that makes it a lot easier when we get to the end for me to remember how many details they had because we have to score them based on how many details they had so a one is provides two or fewer details a two is provides three or more three provides three or more details in a meaningful sequence and then a four has to do all of those things but also have the main idea so what I do with my students to practice doing really good retells is I do a five plus detail retell is what I call it and so I have this little like folding chart right here this little pocket chart this was gifted to me from my amazon wish list so thank you so so much to the wonderful viewer who sent this over to me she actually sent two of them and i have one at the front of the room as well but this one seriously gets used every single day multiple times a day i love it so in the retail they always either have to give me this is just like what i say as a teacher because it makes them get to as many details as they need to get a four so they have to tell me either the title of the text or they have to tell me the author's purpose those are usually an easier point because if you can remember the title of the text that's an easy just like it's explicitly stated you can just retell what it is or the author's purpose is pretty easy because there's only a few different options so we practice that a lot and most of the kids are really really good at it then they do have to tell me the main idea because to get that for they have to tell me what the main idea is so they'll say the main idea of this text was and then they'll tell me what they think it is then they have to give me three details in order so first this happened we work a lot on sequence words so first this happened then this happened last this happened whatever and they don't have to use like those specific sequence words but they have to use some sequence words so that is my five plus detail retell and they actually count on their fingers how many details they have as they're retelling me as much as they can in that one minute so they know when they get to that five but I always say if you get to five and you don't have the main idea you're not done yet so you gotta give me the main idea because you can't get a four on dibbles without giving the main idea so ever since I made this chart I have noticed a huge huge difference we've always talked about the five detail retail but the fact that I actually have it up by me now and I like carry it around the room with me the kids really benefit from that visual so I would highly recommend making something like that just to kind of prompt your kids and give them sentence starters even in fourth grade it is super super helpful so little insider tip for you but like I said, if you're an ed student, I know a ton of people who watch me are in different education programs and whatnot. Um, like I said, if you can progress monitor, try to do it because it is an invaluable experience, I think. So definitely ask your mentor teacher if that's something that you can do. I know I have two students right now who are in my classroom from another like local university, not the one I went to, but another local school. And I have them progress monitoring like every single day that they're in here because I think it's so important and it helps me get some different data too. So 
anyways i feel like that was a uh, mouthful so i am going to go make my copies for the morning um actually it's not really anything i need for today but i'm gonna go make some copies regardless and i need to go write my learning goals on the board and that's about it i'm just kind of hanging out it's like 7 40 right now and like i said the kids don't get here till 8 30 but i love just having like a relaxing morning where I can just take my sweet time doing what I need to do and yeah, I love it. So anyways, I will try to check in with you guys at some point today. Hey there guys, so it is after school now and I actually left school at like a normal time. I left at like 4.30ish, which is pretty early for me. That's actually really early for me. So now I'm home and it's like right after 4.45 and I'm already changed into a comfy shirt and I'm actually gonna go for a bike ride and I'm really excited because I love riding my bike. So I'm gonna go. Chris and I have been going like every single weekend, but I usually don't take it out on my own. I, I don't know why, I just don't really. So I'm gonna go on my solo bike ride today because I don't feel like waiting for him to get home from work. So I might end up going out twice because it is such a beautiful day today that he might wanna go out again when he gets home. So I'm just packing my fanny pack right now. And yeah, then I'm gonna go. Jack is like attacking me over here cause he missed me. He's pretty cute, huh? What a good little buddy. He's like, Mom, let me play. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> guys so it is just past nine o'clock right now and I am winding down and about to go get ready for bed um, but I actually just edited this whole vlog up until this point because I was just feeling I don't know kind of in the mood to do it I'm never really in the mood to edit but I just felt like doing it um, and anyways I was like wait a second this is already like 20 minutes long I could totally just upload it as is so I think I'm going to just do that I know that this wasn't like a multi-day vlog which is what I typically do but I feel like I got quite a bit of content just from today and yesterday which was kind of nice so now I'm just hanging out like I said about to go get ready for bed Chris is watching music videos upstairs so I always hide when he does that because I loathe music videos <laughs> um I love music I just don't like music videos I don't really understand the point of them maybe it's just me but I know it is an unpopular opinion but yeah just not for me so anyways yeah, that's life. I've just been watching YouTube videos down here and doing some lesson planning and I was trying to figure out what I was going to title this video and I think I'm going to title it day in the life of a first year teacher, but I know that this didn't go through like my entire day. So if you guys want to see a video where I actually do like start to finish, like here's my breakfast, here's my day and my lunch and all of that stuff. Like if you would like to see that on this channel, definitely let me know and that's something that I can do. But if you're like, nah Kim, we'd rather just see more like teaching stuff or whatever than that's A-OK -okay too. I really don't care either way. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Remember that you are incredibly beautiful and so, so, so loved. And if you are having a bad day today, then I hope your day gets better. And if you're having an amazing day today, then I hope you are just celebrating that and um, thanking for all of being thankful for all of your blessings i don't know what i'm saying right now but anyways oh really really quick before i go today on instagram i posted this i don't know if you can see it but basically i was like what awesome happened today or what was the best thing that happened to you today can you see that it's too bright there you go what was your favorite part about today and then I posted my little picture at the beach. And that was so neat. I don't know what really inspired me to do that. I just wanted to post that picture. And I was like, huh, what should I put on here? And then, I don't know, I thought of that. And I got so many responses of people just saying, like, all the cool things that happened to them today. And it seriously just, like made my night just like sharing my good day with everybody else and hearing about everybody else's good days or like the best part of their days even if it wasn't like a good day overall like whatever cool happened to them today and so many people responded so I don't know I almost want to make that like 
a regular thing I want to do that more because that seriously just like filled me with so much joy because some people are celebrating like interview say hold on let me like pull some of them up because they were like really cool you guys are super awesome so let me see so we had somebody who had a super awesome PD somebody who went on a walk with her son Somebody saw a poodle in a top knot, which is very exciting. Um, another person went to the library with her kids. Um, an assembly, interviews, interviews. One person met her CT for next fall. And then another person found a new Bible study. So some really, really neat things. Um, and those are just some of them, some of the first ones that I see as I'm opening it up. But definitely some really cool things that were just, I don't know, kind of filled my bucket to have them shared with me. So anyways, I hope your day is super awesome. And I hope even if it's not super awesome, maybe you can find something super awesome within a not so awesome day, if that makes sense. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.